Today on the channel, we got a special one as I feel a quake on the lake with the San Diego Comic Con exclusive AEW Jazzwares 101,000 Sting. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another AEW Jazzwares unboxing and review and today on the channel we got something a little bit special we got the AEW Jazzwares San Diego Comic-Con 2023 one of 1000 Sting but for all your Sting needs that are not San Diego Comic-Con exclusives make sure you hit up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% and of course we're gonna do this for you like we do all these reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there, and of course we'll have comparisons later on in this very video. And as I did say, this was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 2023. Gotta say, this was the one I sweated the most as far as exclusives go at San Diego Comic-Con. Of course, I was out there at uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Is I was sweating this one because it was one of 1,000. I knew a lot of the other stuff, the Super 7 stuff, the Mattel stuff, would be a little bit easier to get. But this was a bit of an unknown then you throw in the Jazzwares booth and then the love of Pokemon, Squishmallows. I knew it would be an all-timer as far as uh, difficulty, be it line difficulty and just exclusive difficulty. So that's where I made a beeline first night, preview night, to try to get this Sting figure. And things were getting crazy in the line. They capped the line very early by the time I got to it. There was even a fight. They knocked over the uh, sign holder guy. It got totally out of control. Had some help out there, though. Good brother Phoenix out there helped me with this one as I did get this one the first night. And then the second day, I actually got another one of these. So I wanted to get one to unbox, one to keep in my collection, but also a very stress, uh, stressful time trying to get this one. And that's where I said before, hey, you know what? You got to pay $125 for this. This was $40 at the show, of course. You have to pay $125 for this. That is worth it all day long. You didn't have to battle the lines. You didn't have to wait three hours in line just to get into the show, all the headaches that go with it, man, I'll pay $125 for this all day long. So when people are saying, hey, give me cost plus shipping on something like this, man, if somebody took the time to get this for you, man, give them a little extra because it was a battle really to get this bad boy here. And this is an interesting one, of course. It is Sting again, and a lot of people are saying this is a terrible exclusive. It's just the same old Sting with a little bit of changes yeah, that's kind of the point, I guess. That is the perfect Comic-Con exclusive because people would be losing their absolute mind at AEW Jazzwares if this was the first ever AEW Surfer Sting figure. People would go absolutely crazy. This is a perfect exclusive, just a little bit different, a nice packaging design, things like that. But it is something that you can pass on. You don't necessarily need it, especially if you have any of the other stings we've received uh, in the last couple of years from Jazzwares. So definitely an interesting dynamic. Definitely happy I got this one. Sting, an all-time favorite of mine. Of course, the Brothers in Paint. You had Warrior on one side, Sting over there. Just a great time to be alive in the 80s and 90s as a little kid wrestling fan like I was. So I was very happy to get this Sting figure. There's no doubt about it. And this thing is a pretty cool one. Now, I got two. This one beat up, and that's kind of the luck of the draw. They're grabbing these things out of there and putting them in a bag and you get what you get and you don't throw a fit in a lot of ways. This one pretty beat up in a few different places. I'm like, okay, well, I'm opening this one. The other one I got had a little bit of a ding in it, but much better. So that one's going to be my own card one. This is going to be the one I unbox here on the channel. So without further ado, let's get after it there. There he is, the old Stinger, looking like a Stinger would look if he was an AEW Jazzware San Diego Comic-Con exclusive in 2023 exactly how you would look at the comic-con logo down low right there a little sting aw action on the side little wrap around there on the other side we got the old scorpion hanging out you got sting a little light or a little window to let the light in at the top then we get an extra image of sting on the back here looking good and it does say a little bit down here it says dynamite quake by the lake oh minnesota minneapolis beautiful this time of year 8 10 2022 
So almost a year ago, just shy as I'm filming this about a week and a half away from uh, the one year anniversary of this one. So interesting there. Got the 101,000 sticker up top here looking really nice. Definitely cool if you're an AW completionist, a Sting fan, you name it. We do get the Velcro here. Everybody loves Velcro. The power of Velcro and the power of magnets compel you. And you get Sting, that same image there. And then you get the nice window box there. We get Sting with a few things going on inside the package. Looking pretty good. Looking nice in there. Uh, definitely an interesting one, this Sting. But like I said, not a whole lot of uh, something new with this one, really, at the end of the day. But I'm going to take this offline. I'm going to get him out of the package somehow, some way. And we'll be back talking all things Jazzwares, AEW, San Diego Comic-Con, Sting! All right, we got Sting out of the package, and really, honestly, not that complicated. I could have just done this live for everybody. I thought there was going to be a kind of weird angles trying to get it out, but you basically cut it off the side, pull it out. He's sandwiched in between these. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. And then uh, the packaging. See you later. Goodbye. I am not going to keep that packaging. It's a little too beat up for me, so there you go. But then you get down to it, and you get Sting. You get some extra hands. You get all that kind of stuff, and I guess we'll start off with the accessories first. Let's dive in here. We do get a baseball bat. We've seen these before from AEW, so we'll reuse again. Black baseball bat for Sting, on brand, no doubt about it. I really do prefer the Jazzwares baseball bats to the Mattel. The Mattel ones get a little bit floppy and stuff. These are a little bit harder. This uh, works better for a baseball bat for me. So I'm, I'm here for that baseball bat. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. Now we get something straight out of the WWE. We do get a little coffin action. This just you know, seems absolutely wild here. Of course, we, when we think of coffins in wrestling, we think of, of course, The Undertaker. Uh, but we got Sting's coffin, I guess, uh, the coffin from the Quake on the Lake. And pretty nice, pretty ornate, pretty detailed. And this is one of those accessories, honestly, you could use with other toy lines. You want to put this with your G.I. Joes. You want to put this with your Jada Toys uh, Dracula figure. You want to put this with something else. You definitely could do this. But it is scaled for Jazzwares figures. Years. This does feel like, uh, I guess it's it's very, very heavy-duty, strong cardboard. It's not like this is plastic. It's not a plastic one, uh, but this definitely feels heavy-duty. feels really nice. got a nice weight to it. got a nice solid, very nice thickness to it. does look good. you got a chain on the top that helps you kind of open it up. I like that little attention to detail. Got a little bit of red here. I guess that is blood, a little bit of spotted blood on there. Uh, but definitely looks like a coffin at the end of the day. You got the graphics for the hinges on there, the three hinges. And then, of course, it does just open up. And you got some uh, nice kind of, I don't know, diamond plate, whatever you want, studs in there, uh, just kind of painted in. Of course, you got the chains holding it down. And then we get a little plastic prison inside the coffin here. I'm going to pull that out. We'll get to that here in a second. But you got a nice lined coffin inside here. Nice lined, uh, not velvet, I don't know, not silk, not velvet, but something very, very close. Very, very nice how they have this lined. I would assume Sting will fit in here. Yes, he will. Fits perfectly in there. It's perfectly sized for an AEW Jazzwares figure. Have to imagine this would work for a Mattel figure. I guess I could grab one. Do I have a Mattel? I'm looking around. Do I have something? Oh, I got the Hulkster. Watch out, brother. I got an Ultimate Hulkster sitting right here. That should kind of get the job done. What do you know? The Hulkster fits perfectly in there as well. So you could use this for Mattel if you want to. Very, very nice as far as figure photography goes. It kind of gives me the extreme sets. If you're familiar with extreme sets, the nice big uh, cardboard backdrops, very uh, ornate. They look more expensive than they actually are, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but it is cardboard to keep the cost down. That's kind of what this feels like. If you ever have one of those very sturdy cardboard, I'm here for this. Because they could have really cheaped it out and gave like some very thin uh, packaging, cardboard packaging, just to make it work. But definitely looks good right there. I will say it doesn't go all the way down, and that's just because of the cardboard trying to get that. I mean, you could work on that, but it might. You never know. You bend cardboard back and forth paper. It could eventually tear and rip, uh, but it doesn't close all the way. So I guess it's one of those things. Uh, you could you could do something. You could put a rubber band around it, you know, one of those uh, clear rubber bands you could stick around there to kind of hold it in place. It might stay eventually. There is some workarounds there. Not the end of the world, that is for sure, but definitely a cool coffin here. I'm here for that accessory. And then I'm very happy that Jazzwares and good friend of the channel, Jeremy Padauer, I'm sure this was his personal thing, said, okay, we got this thing, everything looks good, wait a minute, there's no fist. Sting needs some fists. He's got a gripping hand. He's got a splayed out hand. Let's throw an extra set of hands in here and make them two fists. And that's exactly what we did. So we got two fists 
Man, oh man, got to have fists with the Stinger. He's going to give you one of those chops, a punch, a chop. You know how he does it. Uh, but, but definitely looking good right there for the old Stinger. So there's his accessories. Now we get down to the old brass tacks. Now we get down to business with the Sting figure. And uh, the first thing you notice is the different head on here. I guess same head, different face paint. You got the kind of Aleister Black inspired, Malachi Black. Uh, I still do it. Malachi Black inspired uh, face paint on there. So a little Quake on the Lake special face paint here for that. That definitely does look good. Uh, no problems with this Sting head. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. I do think it is a very good Sting head. Uh, but definitely there's some Sting overkill as far as uh, the black and white Crow Sting, whatever we're calling Sting right now. I almost wonder if the next incarnation of Sting figure we're going to get is going to be the one in kind of the bomber jacket he wears, that black jacket. That's probably the next evolution of Sting figures. I did talk to Jeremy Padauer. I said, man, where's that Surfer Sting? We need a Surfer Sting. And he says, oh, you're not the only one that wants a Surfer Sting. So he didn't really uh, confirm or deny anything. Obviously, he wants a Surfer Sting. He's of the age bracket of Surfer Sting. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if he can do that. I guess uh, we'll just have to wait and see. That's what we'll have to do. Uh, but we've got the Stinger here, and he does got a Soft Goods shirt. Now, Soft Goods, always an interesting one with, of course, Jazz Wears, and even Mattel from time to time, as we do see staining. Now, this one's not going to really stain because it is over his black uh, black shirt. It's just a plain black shirt underneath, no design, nothing. Would have been really cool to have a two-in-one, have some kind of a design under here. If you, for whatever reason, want to display something different, you could do that. But I do like the addition of soft goods here. I have no issues with that. I usually do love soft goods on my wrestling figures. Uh, for the most of the time, I think they work out better than the sculpted on, especially better than the poly pocket for most of the time, for me at least. So I like this. That's a little extra uh, class, a little extra attention to detail on this old Sting figure. You got the big black and white scorpion going on there. No issues with this one as far as I do see. Articulation can be that same jazz where articulation. Arms go all the way around. You get the bicep cut. Double jointed elbows. Hands removable. Hands back forth, side to side. Of course, head back forth, side to side. Head's going to be removable as well. Hula hoop at the top. Traditional waist. Big old stinger splits if he needs to. You get the thigh cut. Double jointed knees going on there. And then, of course, the boot cut and the ankles back and forth. Down on the boots, you got the Scorpion logo on the boot, of course. And you got the little kind of peeking of a Scorpion here. Of course, he's wearing a singlet underneath his shirt. He wears a shirt over, so it blocks part of it. But definitely nice attention to details with that one. Of course, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you do get the AEW Jazzwear stands if you're getting a them for your Jazzwares figures, as they are a thicker peg than the Mattel ones, as we do know. But definitely a good-looking Sting. Of course, Sting completionist Sting fans, they need stuff like this. But it is a lot of what we've seen before, just with a little bit of a twist. And for a lot of people, hey, this is an easy pass, which is great because it's one of 1,000, not the easiest to get, uh, as we do know. And it was only available at San Diego Comic-Con, where Mattel sold stuff on the on their website. Super 7, NECA selling stuff on their website. DC selling on their website. Not so much AEW Jazzwares, at least as of right now. I don't think they had any left over from the show, so it is what it is. So if you wanted this thing, I guess you're stuck to eBay prices at this point. But it is good for what it is. Of course, this isn't going to change the world, but for what it is, I think this gets the job done. And I dare I say about a perfect exclusive for a panel like that at San Diego Comic-Con. Now, we've had other stings in the past, very similar stings in the past, in a million different incarnations my favorite probably still is the one that came with the, the full-size ring. I like the expression on Sting's face for that one. This is also a really good one here, of course, with the big old coat going on. Definitely a good one. And then, can't forget the Quake by the Lake. I mean, got to bring out an Aleister Black figure. We'll stick him next to Aleister Black right here. Why wouldn't we? So definitely cool. Definitely interesting. Aleister Black. Uh, look, look at me. Aleister Black. Malachi Black. Oh, my gosh. What are we doing, Kyle? Malachi Black and Sting together. Two of my favorites in AEW. Of course, longtime Stinger fan. Not going to give up that uh, anytime soon. But Malice, Malister. No, no, I can't even get it right. Malister Black. Okay, all right. What are we doing? Malachi Black, an up-and-comer. You know, I don't know if he's ascended to the ranks where I thought he would at AEW quite yet. But, of course, Trio's champions uh, currently with the House of Black. And bringing it all around again, Brody King and Sting were both at San Diego Comic-Con as well, which I thought was really cool uh, to see them 
them there in person. So very, very cool sting. Not for everybody. A perfect exclusive, though, at the end of the day, if you ask me. So I am definitely here for this. Definitely enjoy this. Definitely happy I picked one up at San Diego Comic-Con. So there it is. The Sting San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive. What are your thoughts out there? You picked this one up. You passed. You playing the long game. You thinking about it. You okay missing out on this because of so many other Stings that are very similar? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. We've got even more content for you, including early access to videos like this over on the Patreon. Patreon, your best way to support the channel. Giveaways, Q&As, bonus videos, you name it. It's all going on on the Patreon on a daily basis. So check that one out. ProWrestlingTees.com. You can all support the channel over there. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Sting, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.